Straighten them out. Get it ready. We have very, very resilient kids. AOE Ghost! Yes! AOE Ghost! Yes! One! Yeah. Two! I love all of them like they're my sons. And I don't say that and not mean it, okay? All the way up, Nate Nate. They have goals that they want to meet, and football's one of them. Yes! Y'all got that! Yes! It's been a very long season so far. Y'all tight we missed practice the other day? Yes. Well, it was too dark. People be stealing. We've had lights for the season, and just recently, we show up to practice last week, and they're just all gone. Like, no real explanation. They just pull the copper wire out of there, and I, I would assume they sell it, sell the parts for it. Go. Unfortunately, and knock on wood, have only missed one practice this week at our actual field. And tonight, we are borrowing Moss's playground. Get ready for the game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Love you. Let's go. Love you. <sighs> That's just weird. We're just kids playing football. They can't stop us. Like, we could hop field to field if they steal it, but still we got to be a team and play through. From one eagle to another, I really wanted to help these kids out. I'm Ron Jaworski from the Jaws Youth Playbook, and I want to thank everyone for coming out today. The Jaws Youth Playbook has been in existence now for almost 40 years. We're for at-risk kids in our communities that need help. It's about play and sport and friendship and camaraderie. And uh, I said, well, find out how much they need. And she said they need $30,000. Well, the Jaws Youth Playbook donated $30,000. And IBW Local 98, they donated all the work. Pulling wire up, up the pole. If all goes well, we're hoping by Thursday afternoon, we should be able to have most of the lights back up and working. This is what we can do when we work together. Yeah. Yeah. The check for $30,000 is going to get it up and running. But it's up to the local neighbors and neighborhood to keep this program going. Always just say, find a way. And that's what we're going to yes. do. We got people that donated, and because of all the help that we have been getting throughout the city, the kids are now able to do the only one thing they asked to do, was to play football in a clean and safe atmosphere. And we thank you for that.